Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Archibald Boulder Dash Explorer and Adventurer Extraordinaire. Don't shine your flashlight at enemies. What happens if I shine my flashlight on enemies? Um. I don't like this at all. I don't have anything witty or funny to say. My hear noises. And I'm also understanding I'm not supposed to shine my flashlight on you. So if you do me a favor and just not find me, then we can both be happy. Happy as the day is long. There's a vent. Do I need to go up there? Oh, good. Peachy Keen. Now, does that mean I'll have to be solving puzzles and also avoid a monster? Or is is the monster, like, not going to bother me while I'm doing stuff like this? Ugh. I figure it's going to be a little bit of both. <laughs> Can I spin the outer edge? No, I cannot. That's good. This means I can focus on the outer edge. Compared to everything else. And voila, a really cool purple design. I actually really like that color of purple. Midnight purple is like one of my favorite colors. Of course, as you may very well know, blue is my favorite color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like blue. Now, not this blue, of course. I prefer uh, a darker blue as my favorite color. But it's still good blue nonetheless. Okay, now... That lit up blue or the purple. There is no purple. Maybe I shouldn't do the ones that aren't here. Here's another blue one, and also it happens to be another one of the things that's in the center. You know what? Uh, let's double check that. It's tilted that way. Let's see here. Um. I like that, but like, that should be it. Bingo, all right, and last but not least. Nope. Yes. All right, that's actually it. Now, there is this center thing. Wait, hold on. Actually, now let's try. Nothing! Wonderful, peachy. Good for me. Maybe I have to complete all of them? Do any of them look like this? Nope. Mm-mm. I'm afraid if I complete the ones I'm not supposed to complete, that bad things will happen to me. Especially that symbol right there, I don't like that one. Well, I basically completed every one, I might as well finish it off. And therefore finishing me off! <sighs> this game is really good with the atmosphere bit. time? Uh, of course, there's a book. I saw the book, I just didn't. Okay. An introductory guide to magic page two in safety measures. Always have the universal counterspell prepared should anything go wrong with the casting. The dark arts are very volatile. 
Every sigil used must be drawn precisely, and any outside interference from other magical signs will cause the summoning to fail, sometimes with devastating consequences. All right, keep that in mind. Only performing spells that you are confident that you handle. Performing a ritual when you are unsure of the steps involved is bound to lead to failure. All right, well, first off, that means that all the other sigils need to be destroyed. Let's see, one, two, three, four. All right, one, one more turn would fix you. So let's let's do that with everyone. Let's do that with, uh, I need you, don't need you. One, two, three, four. Maybe I should have done that with the outer edges, I mean the inner edges, like the center buttons instead of the middle. But I don't know, I just like destroying everything. Three, four, all right. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's see. Those are still li I forgot that actually was one of them. That gun. That's one. That's one. Red one was not. This one was. So let's fix this back. Awesome. Blue, blue, yellow. Don't know. I mean, that's fairly the same color. It's not exactly the same color. Not the same blue, I mean. The other one's kind of greenish, which I guess makes sense. Alright, let me phase this box out of reality and up the stairs. I know I didn't need it, I had boxes up here, but I wanted a different box, although this box may kind of blip around a bit. Let's see here. Now the monster was crawling around in the vents. Do I need to be worried about that? Oh, good. Good for me. I'm back in this room. Now let's see, I don't need to drop down, because I'm afraid. Oh. Okay, so now wait. Everything in here is set. The fires are lit. The the skulls are mostly in place. It has the same sigils on the ground, but that one's not lit. I noticed that when I first came in. Does that mean I need to light this one? Do I need to take something from in here and put it back into this room? Also, please tell me it's nothing to have to do with that maze. I most certainly don't want to go back in that maze. Alright, let's see. Well, all these are lit in here. There's a book with blood, and also... A skull. Let's try this. Alright, we did that right! I guess it was just showing me... It was showing me a way back, is what it was showing me. I just overthought it. Thank you. All right, now we can get out of here. Hopefully not have to deal with any demons while in the process. And if a demon comes around that corner, I am not gonna be able to jump up here in time. All right, excellent. We're doing good. We're doing fine. Yes, he scared the crap out of me, but... Heaven, come on, what was that skinny little thing gonna do? <laughs> Not hurt me, that's for sure. It's way back, right? Alright, good. <laughs> Alright, moving on! <laughs> Not that I did want to spend all the time in the demonology exhibit. Oh, you know, I, I was just so upset with how short it was. But I wanted to see more of this museum and enjoy its whatever's behind this door. Don't move. Randomly. I sorta of hope it's more exhibits as I imagine it's going to be. Maybe not. I really, I really have no idea what's behind this door. Who would be the rest of the demons? Oh, wouldn't that be fun? You don't shine the lights on the demons though. They don't like that. 
They don't like that at all. Where am I going? There's no way this would lead to another main lobby area. If I can't shine the lights on the demons, how do I deal with them? Will it leave me alone if I don't shine my light on it? I doubt I'm supposed to follow it. But I want to make sure it actually... What is that? I don't know. I should be scared of it, but I'm so intrigued. Hello! Oh, shoot. Alright, that's actually really terrifying. That's extremely terrifying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's servers up and down my spine. I apologize. Are you still following me? And running makes noise. As long as I keep a close eye on it. Should be safe. Just now I need to figure out where it is. Hiding spots, I imagine. Let's see, where are you going? I'm gonna hang out over here. So you really don't like flashlights shown on you, and I'm, I'm sorry, I knew that, and yet instead of like respecting that, I, I just did it anyway. That was rude of me. Really uncalled for on my part, in all honesty. So I, I do apologize. Big big boxes anyway. Door appears to be jams. <laughs> jams. I cannot word. Appears to be jammed. Maybe it can be pried open. Hello, your majesty. You look exquisite. Can I barricade doors? I really doubt it, but... You know, barricade only works so well if you do it from the other side. Although, ideally, that monster's in that other area, I severely doubt the game is that nice to me. Oh, look! Crowbar! Exactly the item I needed. So maybe it will trigger a jump scare. Or the monster. I just, I... I... <sighs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> That's actually super clever. And I don't much appreciate it. <laughs> I did a good job. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like that you're here. I don't like that you're covered. I don't like I can't remove the covers. Oh, no, like this. The white book leads the way. All right. The white book leads the way. I remember that. Thank you. You're all so kind. Also, your majesty, where'd you go? You were so pretty in that painting. Why'd you have to leave it? <laughs> the white book leads the way. Did I really go through all that just to read that single sentence? The white book leads the way. Is that a riddle? Does that just mean I need to keep an eye out for white books? Oh, actually, duh! I'm in a freaking library. Maybe there's a switch around here that requires a white book. Also, Professor Walker's diary. I received word this morning that Henry Turner has gone missing. The police dropped in to question me about Henry's sudden disappearance as he went missing shortly after the pre-opening party last week. I, of course, gave my 
a complete and utter cooperation. Although I couldn't provide any information as to his whereabouts, I could not help but feel partially responsible that his disappearance was somehow connected. Hopefully not. White book. White book will lead the way. Hello. Waha. Mm hmm. I don't like that. What are you? Why are you? And do you really need that dust cover? Whew, this game is putting me on edge. I'm just gonna hang out in here. I don't want him to see me. Oh, but I really wish I'd close that door. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I didn't have a chance to scream. I was so terrified. Where? Where the hell is he? Where the hell did he go? Can he open doors? Uh, I'm sorry, I really am. I, 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 I don't I don't mean to not have witty and funny commentary. I guess it's it's more suspenseful if I don't, but crime and nitly. I'm out of the exhibit part, and yet I feel just like 20 times more terrified. This is obviously a hiding spot. Thanks, game. Th there wasn't like any mention of a hiding mechanic, and yet I imagine, hopefully if I use it, that it will be faithful to me. The monster wasn't there, obviously, but he's not now. <sighs> Honestly, I'm just waiting for the episode to be over. Oh, hello. What was that? It's saying something different. I now have no doubt that something is amiss. How could something like this happen? Four people have gone missing in the past month, all of whom were present at the pre-opening party. Of those who attended, only three remained. Amelia, James, and myself. I fear there may be a madman targeting the museum. Perhaps some deranged killer coming after me and all that I own. I must hide the shard, someplace where no one will find it. Maybe I'll hide it in this demon that I just summoned. And have him walk through the hallways, because no one would be dumb enough to follow after him. Well, maybe my stupid nephew, but I'm sure he'll never come and visit. Ugh. I not Maybe if I make noises I won't be so scared. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just making noises spinning on the screen. I swear I've lost my mind. It's this game. Ah. I haven't been this scared since I first started Outlast and I first started Amnesia. But even at Outlast, I like, I don't know. I had more I was more prepared for it because I've seen playthroughs of it, so I knew what to expect. Like clips and bits of playthroughs, not like entire full-on playthroughs. But this 
I have no earthly clue what to expect. And also amnesia, I, you know, kind of knew. So I'm just like this whole brand new level of terrified. It's great. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. But, ugh. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've been enjoying. Hello. Okay. Please like and comment down below if you have. It helps me tremendously. And also, possibly share this video with your friends. Don't forget, once again, to check out BroBits. Our brand new channel. More boxes. Our brand new channel that we just started and we're really excited to continue. Luckily, we don't play horror games on that channel. So I don't have to do... I don't have to record this two times a week. Or every few days, you know what I mean. Anyway, not the point. The point is that I hope you enjoy. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, snap. It told me to hit L1. Yeah, it is. No. Yes. No. Yes. There's no way. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness.